Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardlock Mode. This is Series 2, Episode 47. And it is day... Let's wait for it to change. Day 2000! <laughs> yes! We made it! We made it! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, today's episode, we're going to be doing the Ocean Monument. Now, I took in your uh, comments into consideration. I'm still going to go ahead with my original idea, I think, which I kept a secret. <laughs> That's no secret anymore, fuck! Uh, yeah, we're going to be changing it to Quartz. And it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. And I'm dropping some mad frames, what's going on? Oh, there we go, right. So the whole thing is going to get changed to Quartz, and it's going to look fucking epic. But, here's the thing. Quartz is pretty hard to come by. <laughs> like, I spent loads of time before uh, before starting this episode mining what I could see, like nearby the nether hub. All I got was this. That was it. So I'm thinking, we're going to spend a lot of time on this, so I've already made like loads of pickaxes and stuff. <laughs> oh, this guy changed. Oh, he is cured. You're going to go up? I'm going to have to push you. Anyway, I was thinking, let me just get, oh my god. Hey, there we go. <laughs> we need the, um, I don't think the water would have helped if I pressed it. It doesn't seem to work anymore. Alright, whatever. So, <laughs> as I was saying, uh, I'm going to take down Canyonland, I think. I think it's um, served its purpose as a reminder of the first weather battle, but we need the resources. It's kind of a big deal at the minute. We need it for this episode and this thing's going to have to get demolished. And I've also been, like I said before, I've also been um, getting a bunch of tools together. And I've also got nether specific armor. So we've got fire protection on our chest plate, pants and boots. And we've still got decent unbreaking enchantments on those. And the boots still have depth strider 3 and feather falling. So I think we're pretty much set to go to the nether and sit there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to open up a residency in the nether and I'm probably going to stream some of it as well because I'll just be there constantly. And as you are all aware, the nether hub is a very safe place, <laughs> apart from when you go outside. <laughs> Should be a fun little venture, hopefully we don't die in the process, I'm going to be extra careful. I mean I always am careful in these episodes but the nether is very dangerous. Um, having, having fire protection should help with that though. So yeah, before we get started with this uh, and move on to the nether, I wanted to show off some of the stats. Now I mentioned these briefly in the last episode at the very end, uh, but I just wanted to show off a few things. One thing that kind of worried me at first was uh, why does the time played and the since last death day, like times, have different days? <laughs> one says 20.57, the other one says 20.20. So the only thing I can think of that might have caused this is maybe the snapshots were a bit glitchy when I was in the snapshots for 1.8. Uh, the other thing is that maybe that the clock for time played and the clock for since last death run on different sections. So like maybe it's like the since last death doesn't take into account uh, nether portal uh, travel or time spent in a bed, which is really weird. So that's, it. that's the only thing I can think of why it's like so different. Uh, but yeah, anyway, moving on to the more interesting stuff. <laughs> so, distance walked, distance crouched, and distance sprinted. If we take all those three, mush them together, we get 3,310.58 kilometers. Oh, shit. <laughs> now, I was hoping that um, I could actually like mark that on the map and it would be the entire span of like the United States or something crazy. But it's not. It's a little bit short of that. What it is, however, is the distance from Perth to Sydney in Australia. <laughs> so from one end of Australia to the next. And I'd still have 15 kilometers left over after that as well. It's pretty crazy. Uh, another interesting one. Distance swum, 145.17 kilometers. That is the equivalent of swimming the English Channel four and a half times. Ooh. <laughs> Then we got onto the blocks. Oh shit, here we go. So on this section you've got times crafted and you've got times used, times mined. I have placed 
533,175 blocks of sand. So if you take into consideration the amount of shit that I've done for the ocean monument, the initial ocean monument build, yeah, it was about half a million, just under half a million. I guessed about right. Holy shit. And that's how much we've uh, mined, 203,000. Uh, if we move on to mobs, you've got like 695 creepers, 10,000 skeletons. Now, we all know what that's off. That's off the mob spawner. <laughs> Moving on, anyway. So, we're going to be going to the nether, like I said, setting up a residency. We're going to have our fire gear on. I'm putting that on now so I don't forget. <laughs> And I'm probably going to stream some of it as well, so if you guys keep an eye on the YouTubes, I mean, I'm talking to you now, but you're going to see this video after I've done everything. <laughs> so, pretty pointless. But yeah, um, I'll see some of you in the stream, and we'll get a lot of this done. It's a shame that this wasn't made out of quartz, this would have been ideal, but this is all snow. Oh, there's even snow on here as well, I used it for the chimney. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to collect all this stuff first, and then we're going to head to the nether, set up our little home. And spend pretty much the rest of the episode there by the looks of things. Oh god, I'm already dreading it. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. All right, welcome back, guys. Oh, whoop shit. <laughs> so, uh, I've already started doing this thing. Reason being why you're seeing it like this now is because I did record uh, a section of me bef like doing this before I started this thing. I'll show a quick clip of that now. But problem was, the sound didn't record. <laughs> so I did have a full double chest. I've just showed that for you now, hopefully. Didn't forget. Uh, and we've been slowly changing this to quartz. Now, basically what I'm going to do is, everything that would be prismarine blocks, like the ones that look like bricks, are going to be chiseled quartz. And then the bits in between, which is just a normal prismarine, uh, is going to be normal quartz. So it kind of looks like the same makeup as the original like Guardian Temples, the Ocean Monuments. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these blocks. I might change them to sea lanterns, maybe? I think that'll look pretty cool. Uh, and the pillars, the pillar blocks, are going to go on these bits here, I think. It's the only place that they look like they'll fit. Here and down there, I think, maybe. Well, we'll see. But yeah, this is why it's kind of like half kind of done. So, and what I'm starting to think now as well, is that I'm, I'm going to run out of quartz. <laughs> Because this is only a small section that I've done, and I'm already running low. I feel as though it's either going to be really close to the mark, like I'm just going to have enough, or I'm going to have to make one more trip. We shall see. <laughs> Cue time lapse now. <laughs>
Oh yes. <laughs> it's finally done. Fuck it. Like so much oh god, this took so long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got the vision. I got I got I got the hunger. I need to get it done. I mean a lot of you saw the the, uh, the streams, so it wasn't as bad, but apologies to anybody that just watches the YouTube videos. Uh do you wanna see it? Oh yes, you wanna say it, don't you? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> How awesome does this look? <laughs> right. So, few things. We killed the Elder Guardians on stream. It was three of them. Uh I literally just got sick of them constantly hitting me with minor fatigue. So they're dead. And I don't care. <laughs> Initially, I was going to keep one for the pet, but nah, fuck them. Fuck them. They were so annoying. They're dead. So with that, we managed to wander around inside the uh, monument a little bit more. We got the gold room. And there was three sponge rooms. Count that. Three fucking sponge rooms. That was ridiculous. So we've got shitloads of sponge now. And I used it to get rid of a lot of the water underneath it. Which we're going to have a look at now. Oh yes. Right, so. Uh, early, earlier in the video, we were going to have this kind of opened up. And have water suspended. So that didn't really work, unfortunately. <laughs> Let me put my helmet on or I'll drown. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Uh, I thought that if I made it like one layer in, so like... Here was the main top of the wall, and then further in was the bottom half. And I was going to make it so the water would just fall and hit behind the bottom layer. For the most part, it started to work for the like main sections, but then when I got close to the edges, oh shit, it just started filling in. And everything that I tried to fix it failed. <laughs> so now it's all glass, but I, I quite like it. And with the new updates to 1.9, uh, this looks a lot better, so yeah, it's gonna look pretty sick. Also, the Enderman look really creepy through the glass. You seen that? And the creeper. <laughs> so this is a little issue. We've got um, an entrance down the bottom there, as you can see. If we need ever need to get through or out, whichever way. And this kind of happens. <laughs> I'll fix it. I'll put a door on there or something. I've also fixed the glass textures. Um, the reason why they looked a bit blocky and square was because I was actually running a much older version of the initial texture pack, like the default texture pack. And I think Optifine helps with it as well, but essentially the connected textures weren't working <laughs> and now they are. And my God, it looks amazing. I was contemplating using uh, a different texture entirely from a different uh, texture pack called Candle Clock, I think it is, or Candle Clock and Candle something. Hold on, let me see. Candles and Clockwork, <laughs> which uh, basically got rid of the the little details here and made it look like clear marble, which looked really nice. But I'm I, I'm a big fan of the default textures, as you guys know, and I think this suits it quite well. So as you can see, the monument is completely dark. Took all the torches off. Uh, the main reason for that is it needed to make sense for the lore of this place. <laughs> the lore. Is that a f Yeah, that's a, that's a guardian possibly suffocating. <laughs> so, also, fun fact, uh, nothing spawns on this, this stuff. Like, prismarine blocks? I never knew this, but apparently nothing can spawn on there. Bats seem to spawn. I'm not sure if that's just because they just spawn in air blocks above things in darkness. I think that's that might be how they work. But actual spawn grids just don't seem to work on prismarine blocks. So very useful information <laughs> that we will use in the future. We never have to worry about lighting stuff up. Yeah, oh my god, this, this place is pretty awesome. <laughs> so initially, uh, we were going to have wings come off this thing. I'll, I'll show a quick picture of that now. 
Uh, this was done during the stream just last night, actually, on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday? No, Monday. <laughs> it's Tuesday today. I <laughs> uh, did this on uh, Monday, and it looks good in my head, but ultimately I think it looked a bit naff in practice. Like, it didn't really match the overall feel of this build. Everything's quite uniform and square, whereas the wings made it look a bit out of place. I don't know. I'd love to know what you guys think, so uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you reckon we should do, whether we should bring back the wings, maybe a different style, or just forget the whole idea for wings in general. I really like the idea, but yeah. Um, also, we were going to have trees underground uh, and on the sea floor to kind of sim symbolize uh, you know, the whole the whole thing to do with the monuments giving off life and stuff like that. But, as you can see, the ground here is all soul sand. There's something wrong with this monument. It's not in its natural habitat. Somebody is trying to sap the energy from this place. And send it to another location. <laughs> and those of you who watch the stream know exactly where that's going to head. <clears throat> Directly up. <clears throat> right, anyway. <laughs> Moving on. So, I'm apologising right now. This video should have came out a lot earlier, but we got way too carried away. Loads of stuff got done. And I spent a lot of time getting rid of the sand and making sure this looks pretty. I want it to look nice, you know? Uh, I'll show a quick clip of what the glass is going to look like in 1.9 now. It's a big difference, and I'm... I can't, cannot wait until I switch over. I'm, I'm, set, I'm kind of like on the fence about upgrading to one of the snapshots just because of how laggy it will be on my PC when it la like records 60 frames. Um, but you never know. We might switch in the near future. I'm hoping 1.9 comes out for Christmas. It should do. It's usually the case. <laughs> Oh, also, let's quickly just show some shaders. This place looks pretty nuts with shaders on. Whoa. Frames take a bit of a dip, but that's understandable. <laughs> it's all movie-like. Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with this, and I can't wait to move forward in this build. Should be interesting. <laughs> Remember guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, what you shoot bollocks. Uh, next video, I think we're going to be working on a few little bits and bobs to do with zombie base maybe. Um, and some other areas. We will be coming back to this place to investigate the reason why this exists. <laughs> and with that, I'm out. Alright, catch you guys in the next video. <laughs>